I uh, made a double tapping uh, bale lifter. Yeah, I looked at three different designs of bale lifters and kind of just picked out the parts I liked out of them to make this design. I looked at the latch system. So some of the latches come out, sit out, and then I liked the way the latch sat in the frame. So I decided to go with that. And I looked in at just kind of different parts of the frame where how strong it would be, you know. So that's the different design. I kind of picked out then what I liked at each one and put it all into one. The ram here pushes out this latch and then that releases the two ends to tip it out then. So it's all within, within the width of the actual frame itself. Uh, when making it, I kind of made it in sections. So I made the bottom half first and then I kind of made the top half and joined the two together. But obviously when I joined the two together, it was a lot heavier. So it was harder, I had to get uh, help to move it around and be able to weld in these parts here. I had to get help then to be able to move it because of the weight. It costed more than I had first expected. Um, the price of steel obviously uh, has risen up, but I didn't really take into consideration the welding rods and the paint and all into it as well. So uh, yeah, it was more than I had initially thought. I'm happy with how it's turned out. Um, if I was to change anything, I'd probably maybe put a tipping ram at one side to tilt it up. But at the time, I wasn't really confident in my welding, but now I've become more confident and I think I would be able to to do it. Yeah, I learned a lot from too from designing and picking out designs and measuring and cutting out and everything kind of. As I went progressed through it then I got better at welding and I wouldn't be scared to take on anything now.